Hey guys, Lady Lee here from Lady Lee's Home. In this video, I want to take you with me to plant some okra. I created these uh, seven new garden beds. And as you can see, um, uh, the soil in these beds are, is horrible. It's hard clay soil. Um, and I was thinking what kind of plant can handle this and okra came to mind. I can sell okra at the farmer's market pretty easily. So I figured let's plant some okra. This darker soil is compost that you'll see how I add in a minute. I got my plants at a local Southern State store. Um, it is better to start okra indoors and I did not do that. So I just went to town and looked for some uh, plant starts and found those at Southern States. They look pretty healthy, already rather tall and ready for planting. So that is what I'm planting today. I do not know the variety. Uh, it didn't say the variety, but it does say that the plants are six feet tall. So there are some lower, smaller okra varieties, but most okra plants are pretty big plants. So uh, that's all that I am working with here. I don't know the exact variety of that of this okra. Since the beds have such horrible soil in them, it was basically mandatory to add some compost. If you live and garden in central North Carolina, we get our compost from Atlas Organics in Durham, North Carolina. They have really, really good um, compost and at a really good price too. I like using the five gallon buckets because it kind of makes it easy for me to measure how much compost I add to each bed to each bed my beds um, in the garden at the back of the house are about 10 to 11 feet long and I usually add about uh, two five gallon bucket buckets of compost to each bed I dump the compost on top of the soil I don't teal or anything like that it will take a little bit of time maybe a couple of seasons to um, get this garden beds uh, built up and I'll keep adding more and more organic matter so if it is uh, compost or if it's a layer of straw that breaks pretty quickly I just keep doing this for a couple of seasons and then I end up with really good soil um, it takes a little bit of time but it's much easier than starting to till everything and mix everything and clay soil is so sticky that even if I do that usually I end up with a whole lot of mess um, instead of anything good so it is important to choose plants that can handle this type of soil for example I would not plant carrots in a new bed like that because carrots can't handle the the hard um, slightly acidic clay soil but uh, something like okra can definitely do okay here or soybeans or um, uh, you know even peas or all of those crops they can break the soil a little bit add to the soil I just did a, um, a video about growing daikon radishes if you didn't watch it um, go ahead and watch it because daikon radishes are great for breaking up heavy clay soils or just kind of loosening up the soil so even if you have um, not the ideal soil in your garden there are still a lot of crops that you can grow that will benefit the soil over time and prepare it for the more gentle crops like carrots and beets and stuff like that so basically i just putting the compost on there and then spreading it around uh, maybe like a three four inch layer is good enough now let's talk about uh, okra growing information. So okra is a heat loving plant. This is why it work, It grows so well here in the south. Uh, it really likes the hot weather. You want to grow it in um, the summer after the danger of last frost and in full sun location. It is um, definitely better to start seeds indoors and transplant the plants to the garden this way when 
um, the weather warms up and you plant your okra, you're starting with plants that are already a month, a month and a half old instead of direct seeding it. You can direct seed okra in the garden. If you do that, then um, make sure to plant a seed every few inches in the row. And then um, the uh, final spacing for okra plants is between a foot to two feet apart between plants within the row depending on what variety you're growing since I don't know what I'm growing here exactly um, I wanted to be safe and went for two feet apart between plants which gave me about four um, I mean exactly four plants in a bed um, they do need a good amount of space between the rows so if you grow in rows you want about three feet between rows uh, soil requirements we already talked about that okra likes a slightly acidic soil at about 5.5 to 6 uh, ph rich in nitrogen so if you can add fish emulsion or nitrogen rich uh, fertilizing before you plant and as the plants grow that will help them produce lots of okra pods um, about 50 days to maturity and when you harvest okra you want to harvest it at about three to four inch uh, the pods grow really quickly flowers are gorgeous they attract a lot of pollinators even though okra is um, self-pollinating and it doesn't really need the pollinators the flowers are just really beautiful and they attract a lot of pollinators um, pot flowers turn to pods really quickly and pods grow really quickly so make sure you harvest your okra at three to four inch so they don't become too woody and slimy and stringy that's it you guys if you have okra recipes that you can share with me please do that i'm thinking about having like maybe a collection on the blog and personally i did not find my favorite way to eat okra yet so i would love for some of your suggestions and that's it. We'll see how these plants grow and I'll keep you posted and see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.